Hey hi, Auto Gyro here. This tutorial started when I saw this comment by Benny Copter on one of his speedrun videos. Most of the detailed information came from watching nearly all of the footage collected by Milligan when he and Sileus made their four-man attempts at the world record for the elite deep dive. Benny's video and the Twitch VODs are linked in the description and in this video where clips were taken from their efforts. Using the sandbox utilities to practice clipping into the drop pod seemed genius. I'd done verified mods before, but nothing that required a sandbox. So, for those who've never even installed a mod before, hit escape, then click here on the modding tab at the top on the main menu. Click on manage mods down here on the right. It will take you to the mod IO page that lists all the mods for Deep Rock Galactic. Use the search bar to find sandbox utilities. Subscribe to that mod by clicking the button at the bottom of the box. Return to your game and you'll see this notification at the top that says that the install is pending on your clicking the big apply button. When you click apply, say yes, I really want this to happen. It will install the mod and restart your game given the new mod list. And since this is a mod that is classified as a sandbox mod, you'll be asked to start a sandbox save. I named mine Sandbox and clicked Save Current. This will use your most up-to-date save, copy it, and make a sandbox save from it. Note the sandbox tab on the left side. Now, enter a mission as you normally would. When you get down on the surface, you can hit H and then click on Sandbox Utilities, and there will be five different tabs. These utilities cover a lot of ground in the possibilities for DRG. We're not going to cover most of that. And we're not going to cover the custom difficulty mod here either. Though, if you're here in order to learn more speedrunning tech, there's a fascinating trick for seeing everything a cave has to offer. Go to the Missions tab, click Fulbright on. You can click Invulnerability on as well if you don't want to bother with the bugs that randomly spawn. Now, type a period and then you can use WASD to noclip through the map and see everything. Go to any point on the map, type comma, and you'll teleport to where you're looking. When you want to practice clipping into the drop pod, just click the big Call Drop Pod button and it will start the sequence of the drop pod coming for you. In all the trials I conducted, the pod came to the beginning cave of the mission. There are two kinds of clips, getting dropped on by the drop pod and trying to get in through the side after the drop pod is down. The simpler one involves getting to the site where the drop pod is going to drop before the pod is there, so the hard part is getting there fast enough during a regular mission. Milligan's crew managed to do a four-man clip, all at once, during their work towards their world record for an EDD speedrun. It busts the idea that only a single person can clip in at the end of a stage or mission. This is from Milligan's footage on his Twitch channel, and I've linked his video there of the whole thing. Milligan was coaching Sileus early on on how to do this clip. There's a hexagonal footprint that happens right when the drop pod is approaching. The ground drops from under you if you're standing where it's going to land. There are six distinct corners. Stand in any corner, look up towards the center, and jump when the pod lands. Benny Copter says he looks up when the drop pod is coming down to see where the lights around the entrance are, and he aims for the lights. Even knowing what to do, I still need to practice to get the muscle memory of when to jump and how much effort it takes to get up and in. I had a lot of trouble timing Scout's grapple with the drop, and being a not very good player, I'm cheerful about showing my failures here, especially since it seeks nicely into the second type of clip. If you miss the getting dropped on clip, you can still try to shave off time by wiggling into the drop pod by Molly's entrance. This type of clip does seem to be only one person. so. If you're playing with others, everyone else has to be down for the mission to end. Otherwise, you're just inside to greet everyone that comes in the normal way. 
If you're facing the entrance of the pod as you'd normally get in, Molly's entrance is on the right, and up a bit. While Milligan's crew were coaching each other on this clip, they all said it was easier if you went in sideways. Easier if you were playing at fewer than 60 frames per second, and Axis Kronos has noted that it's also easier if you have higher ping, which usually happens when you're not the host. I've noticed that Snoop often hosts Benny when the two of them are doing duo runs. That there's something about the lag and a slight delay that makes it easier to get in this way. I don't have any good way to verify the numbers, other than running a whole bunch of trials, but since I'm not good at this technique yet, the numbers would be biased by my skill as much as by the actual factors being measured. I'll let others who can factor out skill issues do the verifying. The cool thing is that, just in the time it took for me to get the clips for this video, I was able to do both types of clipping. So try it. You might like it. And you'll definitely get better with practice. I intend to. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and have fun out there in the caves. Auto Gyro.